All right. Welcome, everybody. Today's a great day. It is the Lord's Day. First and foremost, we need to say that. Happy Shy Guy Saturday to you and yours. It is the Lord's Day. The day is upon us once again. Second, an unboxing that I am looking forward to and also not looking forward to. I will explain that. Um, Mario Kart 64 is, depending on your interpretation, my favorite or second favorite Mario Kart. In terms of playing, it's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's the best experience you can find Mario Kart wise. But this is the one I grew up with. The music on it's phenomenal. The tracks are, there's some that don't age well, like Banshee Boardwalk. Um, and a couple others that don't age well too, in my opinion. But it's the game I grew up with, it's a fantastic game. Again, music fantastic. I love it. It's just super charming. Everything about it is great. It is also home to um, one of my top, I'll say it, top 10 uh, video game uh, soundtracks of all time. That is uh, Rainbow Road. I think that music slaps. I think it goes so hard. Now, that's why I'm looking forward to it. The reason I'm not looking forward to it, of the nine boxes I found in my parents' attic, this one looks like it had been sat on for that entirety of time it spent up there. It was crushed. I um, managed to make it look nice and neat in this protective casing. As you can see, that's reflecting a little, I apologize. You can see me twice there. Nobody wants to see one of me, so I don't even know why I have that up. Anyway, um, but yeah, so it looks like a box that's in reasonable shape, right? Wrong. So that's why I'm not looking forward to it. This could be a pain in the ass to get back in, and I hope I don't make it worse than it already is. But it must be done. Here we go. We are going to be very careful here with this one. I don't know, maybe about a month in this box has straightened it out a bit. I believe that's the case. It It's kind of straightened itself out. I mean, the, the flaps on the side still don't close well, but, you know, they were in rough shape. Like, very rough shape. Right, I've never actually taken a good look at this box. Obviously, I know what the cover front looks like. You see, that's already popping out. <laughs> you can probably just tell from there that it is not in the best of shape. But, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. This is the box we got. This was my childhood N64 Mario Kart cartridge. That's enough for me. We just need to be super careful. There's some rips here. It looks like something bit it at one point, maybe, like right here. <laughs> no, anything's possible. But anyway, let's take a look at the box. I've never taken a very good in-depth look at this, other than the front. Up top, we got, um... Wario being a dickhead trying to knock Peach off the road. And Mario in the back. Oh yeah, Mar I thought he was cheering, but no, he has a shell ready to defend Peach. That makes sense. Uh... There's Toad going hard, as always. That's what Toad does. Um, ooh. I, ooh. And that, that's weird that I never really noticed, because this is the side that I have facing me um, on display, of course, because it says Mario Kart 64. I never noticed this. That is Donkey Kong getting hit by the train in Calamari Desert. Trying to get a good angle of it. Yeah. That's hilarious. That's my favorite... Maybe my favorite track in all of Mario Kart. It's definitely top three. I love Calamari Desert. I've loved it since I was eight years old. Let's see what side we did not show the bottom yet. And yeah, there's the other two characters it would appear. Yep, race, Luigi and Yoshi racing on Toad Turnpike. Yoshi dodging his taxes. Luigi doing God knows what. Um, and I did not see Bowser anywhere on. Surrounded here. Fascinating. Poor Donkey Kong. Everyone else is just racing and having a good time, and Donkey Kong's just getting hit by a train. Let's see. Three, two, one, go. The signal light changes, and you drop the pedal to the metal. Sounds intense. But this is an intense game, as we all know. Tell your friends to bring it on in the highly competitive battle mode. That area is like my safe space. I love just cruising around there as a kid. That's the best way I can describe it. Everyone's favorite characters are back and gorgeously rendered, including two new additions, Donkey Kong and Wario. Okay, so they were new for this game. I did not know that. I don't know much about the Super Nintendo game. Nice.
And of course, on the back, we got some, uh, you know, just screenshots. We got, um, right up here, we got Wario racing against the voice inside his head. That's cool. Um, and yeah, that's about it on the box. I don't really, <laughs> I, I gotta be careful here opening this. Now, if I remember correctly, my manual for this game was in much better condition. As is my cartridge, of course. I took good care of these things, as I said. I mean, there's a blemish, like, here or there, like, on one of these sides. I think, yeah, over here there's a little blemish, but... I took good care of these things. Pins in pretty good shape as well. Overall good shape. Thumbs up to you too, Mario. Anyway, on to... I don't believe this is complete. I'm not 100% on that. But, um, I got two things in this. I managed to hold on to two of them. Again, as I said, the instruction booklet, there's like a little rip down here. But overall, this one's in much better shape than uh, the last one I unboxed. Just Scooby-Doo. Speaking of other unboxings, I did just buy another complete unbox copy the other day. The local store, the game station, shout out to them, was having a sale. Um, I got F-Zero X, Banjo-Tooie, and a complete unbox Rogue Squadron. But that's for a different video, obviously. Just wanted to mention that. Shout out to the game station. Great place. And we got this thing here. Mario Kart 64 Operation Guide. Which I found buried in my... Oh, I showed you the back end of it. This might not be the full thing, actually. This looks a little weird. Yeah, I don't know. Let's look into that. But, you know, controls on the front. Inside, it tells you all of the items and what they do, which is really, really cool. Obviously, I know what they do, but... fake item. This bomb looks just like an... It's a bomb? I guess it is a bomb. It makes you... throws you up in the air, so I guess it is a bomb. Thunderbolt snatching item. Boo. Yep. Card affecting items. Attacking opponents ahead. They would... Spiny shells will chase the cart in the lead. Along the way, if there are other carts in its path, they will suffer the consequences. Fascinating. All right. Let's see, I feel like this is the type of one. I've never read this instruction booklet. I feel like it'll have really cool artwork in it. Let's find out. And there we are. There's Donkey Kong just getting hit by something or being chaotic again. Right from the jump. And just basic stuff explaining. There's a cool little lack of two down there saying it's time to start. Cool character renders. The renders don't look anywhere near that good in the game, but I love the art style for this game, like in the like on the box and you know. N64 promo art was just really, really cool at the time. There's all of our cups. I've never been able to decide which one of these cups is my favorite. I've just always decided that the flower cup wasn't. There's nothing there that really blows me away. Uh, Mushroom Cup has Koopa Troopa Beach and Calamari Desert, of course. Love both of those to death, especially, as I've already said, Calamari Desert. Probably my favorite course in uh, Mario Kart history. Star Cup has Wario Stadium and Hot Take I Love Sherbet Land. It's probably my second favorite on the entire game. Uh, Bowser's Castle and Royal Raceway are objectively poorly designed, though. Especially Bowser's Castle. There's so many corners you can just get stuck in. And then Special Cup, that would rival the Mushroom Cup. That's probably my favorite, because that has Yoshi Valley and Rainbow Road, my personal favorite Rainbow Road. And DK Jungles Parkway goes so hard. Banshee Boardwalk, I love. It's objectively poorly designed, though. It's, there's really no denying that. It's just poorly designed. But, either way, great, great courses. And as I've said, Rainbow Road, the music, it goes so hard. Yep, there's this one for the game modes. This is a long instruction booklet, wow. There's a nice, cool little art graphic of the battle mode down there of somebody throwing a... Mario throwing a bomb. Look at that toad. You probably can't see it because I can't get it that close. He just looks dejected, though, because he's, I mean, he's about to get a bomb thrown on him. This I never did because right here where it says the ghost, where, like, you can, like, race against yourself. I never had that because I never had a controller pack. So I was just... Just no, there was no save data when I was a kid. Just could not do it. 
There it is explaining the save date. I'm not even going to go through that because... You know, I never knew the exact timing for this. For the rocket start, but it tells you right in the instruction book. But as you would expect it to. If you press A when the signal changes from red to blue, you can make a dash start at maximum speed called a rocket start. Cool. We knew that, I just didn't know what time, exactly what time to do it. A lot in here on, like, save data and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. I could sit here and stare at this for an hour. Maybe not an hour, but... Like, top-down views of um, all the maps. That is so cool. I love that. Let me see here. That's so awesome. Especially the one for Peach's Castle. That's a really, really cool view. It's also strange that they kind of block off Peach's Castle in the top-down view. Calamari Desert, you got a map, you got like an outline for the train tracks and the uh, actual race. That is so awesome. A Bowser's Castle, and like I said, that's just poorly designed course. Rainbow Road looks awesome from the top down. Wow, that's so cool. Wario Stadium, Banshee Boardwalk looks cool. Yoshi Valley, that really gives you a perspective on uh, the randomness of that level. Of course, whichever you want to call it. And Sherbet Land, that's really cool too. Ooh, and they go in depth even more. Oh my goodness. It would take me forever to read all of these, but oh god. Luigi Ray, I'll, I'll summarize them. Luigi Raceway, long straightaways and easy corners. Moo Moo Farm, peaceful ranch with an audience of contented cows. Essentially, uh, Moo Moo Meadows before Moo Moo Meadows. Koopa Troopa Beach. This rock was named for the giant rock thing being seen right after the starting line. Okay. And even a shortcut. There is no best route. It all depends on the situation. What do you mean there is no best route? The best route is the shortcut going through the waterfall. I will read all of Calamari Desert. The trick is to time it so that the steam locomotive that crosses the course won't block you. If the train is crossing in front of you, you should temporarily stop. It's very dangerous to enter the train tunnel even if it is a shortcut i don't think that is a sh shortcut i was not aware of this whenever i entered that you just like skip the lap huh am i doing something wrong there or do i just not remember it correctly but yeah cool artwork obviously just a more in-depth version of what I saw already. Toad's Turnpike. Parts shouldn't drive on a public road, but for some reason, Toad's Turnpike is one of those courses. A frigid course under constant snowfall. That's a frappy, however that's pronounced, snowland. Chaco Mountain. This mountain, decent course. It gets remade all the time, I feel like, but I was never blown away by it. Like I said, Flower Cup isn't great for me. Mountain course climbs and descends to extreme altitude. Mario Raceway, although the distance of one lap is fairly short, it has complex corners and numerous hairpin curves. Yeah, it does. It really does. Oh, right. Artwork, as always, just very quick. The top-down view is so awesome. I love that. I never knew such a cool thing existed in here. Wario Stadium, be careful not to fall when crossing the gap. Many people have found that out the hard way. Dash zones, like I said, in Royal Raceway, like before that dash zone, you can just get caught on the sides if you don't know what you're doing. I don't think that's good design. Again, Bowser's Castle, which I don't think is great design because of all the places you can get stuck. Falling rocks. Yeah, that's yeah. And of course, my place, Sherbet Land. My home away from home. Love racing there. A very slippy world of ice populated by annoyingly playful penguins. It's not a course for the faint of heart. No, it is not. Once again, cool top-down views. 
Only one more down. Only that of that. Only one more to go. And I think we're done after that. Let me see. Oh, they do go over the. Yeah, and that's it after that. Okay. DK Jungle Parkway. Ooh, man, they appear to have botched that picture. These ones are a little blurrier. The home of Donkey Kong, the Jungle Parkway is developed as a tourist facility and equipped with a racing ground for carts. Uh, Banshee Boardwalk. A dark and mysterious boardwalk over water is the location for this course. At the corners, some of the guardrails are missing. They literally say, making its design quite rough. My thoughts exactly. As much as I love racing on it, the design is rough. Yoshi Valley. Steep canyons and a very large egg. Hmm. How does this course relate to Yoshi? To make one lap, you can take any route you choose through the complicated maze, but without keeping a careful eye on the course radar, you might drive the wrong way and end up returning to where you started. Of course, leaving the course is forbidden. Is that... You say that as if it's an option. <laughs> it's not. And then, again, I... This is more than... I thought Rainbow Road was long. It is more, more than twice the length of any other course other than Wario Stadium and Royal Raceway. Now that I'm looking at it. Oh, and Toad's Turnpike. That's a long one. That's a really strange one to be that long, Toad's Turnpike. Because there's a lot of cars. Let's see. Rainbow Road. This course can be described in a word. Long. Very long. It is simply the longest of all the courses. As the name indicates, the road is made of rainbow, and it has a fantastic view of neon sculptures twinkling in the distance. The final course of the Special Cup, it is definitely worth seeing. It is advisable to slow down to avoid the chomps that will attack. And the last thing I will say before I end this unboxing is... I've raved about Rainbow Road enough between the music and, of course, the, let's get the top-down views in here before I forget. I've raved about this Rainbow Road enough. It's my favorite Rainbow Road. Um, it's cool to hit the shortcut. The music's great. Everything about it is awesome, but... It's got to be, even more so than Calamari Desert, it's just such an awesome design. Like, all the constellations, they call them sculptures in here. I just always thought they were constellations. But it's just so charming. It's awesome. Like, for the time, that artwork was just awesome. It's just a great course to be in. It's just a very happy and just beautiful vibes. It's great. And, of course, there's the added thrill of trying to hit the shortcut here and there. And they even show you some of the constellations on here. Yeah, that's awesome. But, yeah, that's it. And then, of course, they just give you a brief rundown of all the battle stages, which I haven't been to in a long time, except for the one down here, of course. And that's all we got. So, to summarize, cool stuff. Cool stuff. And... Well, stuff. That was one of my longer unboxings. I was, it was a longer instruction booklet, but man, they went in such detail on those courses, and it really got me going. All right, now I'm not going to rebox these now because it would take forever with how touchy this box is, as we can tell. I mean, I, I didn't really show properly how flimsy these are. Like, look at this. Yeah, it, it's 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 rough. I think it's even missing. Yeah, it is missing a tab on the bottom. So I'm not going to try to rebox that now. I will not subject you to me having a panic attack as I'm trying to do it. I'm just going to put it safely on the floor here. And then we're going to start the the Shy Guy Saturday stream. So yeah, let's get into it. 